All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, please subscribe, share, comment your thoughts down below. We're jumping back in. All right, um, let's go. All right, so this is the seal in the book, right? This is figures. This is the image of the seal of the state of California, which bears Queen Caliphate's image. All right, so I cut out um, a little portion so I can like show you like the pictures and the maps, right? It says more evidence of her rulership is the fact that California used to be an island, right? Legend says that she ruled over an island. As you can see, the state of California used to be an island and the Gulf of California used to be the Red Sea. Let's take a look. Okay, in particular, check out this map. This is a map from the Library of Congress, right? Gulf of California right here. So that would indicate that this is California. All right, so we're not done. So let's see when this map was made, right? So we have, let me keep going. So down here, it says May 16, 2000 something. So it's, it's, it's recent, right? So let's, let's see some more maps. Just so everyone's on the same page, this is Mexico. And then what used to be California where C uh, Queen Khalifa was, is now part of Mexico. And this is the, uh, the new California right here. So, just so we know what we're looking at today. All right, so this is a, a map from uh, 1794, right? Y'all see, it says the little sliver right there, the island, it's California right here. And then even down here, it says like Gulf of California or something like that. But it says the word California here again, and that little sliver right here, says California and New Navarro in Mexico, Louisiana, Mexico, Louisiana was basically the same thing. That's why you see a lot of Aztec, um, uh, a lot of Aztec uh, murals that look like people from Louisiana. Again, this is why you would see a lot of Aztec Mexican look like people from Louisiana because they're the same, same people. Here's a not so clear map. I'll show you another clear map shortly. Clearer map. But it says all California, OLD, California. And then it says in here, Gulf of California, New California, right? Don't worry, I'll show you a better map. But I just want to run through the different maps. All right, this is a faint map, but nonetheless, it says California right here or California right here as well all right let's see what else we got i just want to bring up this map of atlantis real quick and you can see the the west indies right here florida and then it's weirdly this little part is just red as like i guess the red sea will just cordon off right here all right so let's come down here right says La Amérique over to the left, uh, the year 1792, oh, 1762, sorry. All right, so let's look at, let's try to look at um, California, right? So you see California, right? That little island right here again by itself. Of course, Mexico is basically all up in the North America, um, uh, like in Louisiana and stuff like that, like uh, Nevada, Utah, stuff like that, right? And then, of course, you see Florida over here. And then you got the West Indies over here, right? So we're looking at the same map, basically. So, again, California, again, that little island. 
and this is what the map looked like like as a whole. All right, y'all. So I, I wanted y'all to see me come to the Library of Congress first, right? So let me show you. So boom, Library of Congress, map of the United States of North America with parts of the adjacent countries, right? And you see the image, I can make it bigger, but I wanted to download it so I can play with it more, right? So let's go there. All right, so I downloaded it, and as you can see, still up there is loc.gov, which stands for libraryofcongress.gov. And you see their British possession, right? Right there. I haven't really like gone through um, this uh, look for like every word and stuff like that. But let's go to California. You see Lake Superior as in India Superior, right? So we come here and it says, I don't know if y'all seen that yet, but I wanna I wanna bring it uh, smaller and then it will we'll crop in. See, so we're gonna go, go into New California, right? Which is where California is right now. And then like, let's check out Old California where Queen Khalifa was was chilling at all right so you see old let me get my pointer out so we got old california right and we got the gulf of california let me, let me make it so you guys can see that so crap so it's thing is jumpy sorry all right so old california Gulf of California. So let's make it small again so we can see the big picture, right? So we see uh, New California and then we got Old California. So they knew, you know what I'm saying? Like they they know I'm just up in the Library of Congress. So, and even though I have like other maps that says you know where California is. This was they call this little sliver in Mexico, the the Mexico of of today. They they just call that part of Mexico. But on several maps that I wasn't really looking for, they call this little sliver right here, this island, California. All right. So let's go look at the year this map was created and see how long ago they knew which was California because we're not we're not being taught this in school you know so let's let's zoom in on the year real quick let's go down so make it seem entered according to the act of congress so they know man they know what's going on it's up to us to catch up right especially if we're going to live in this uh this reality which is just the matrix right because why would you hide all this stuff especially I'm, i want to learn about this stuff as a child not not as an adult I'm like what the heck <laughs> like show me india the real india as a damn child not as, not as an adult you know so we have the entered according to the act of congress july 10th 1839 right by david h burr in clerk's office of the district court of the district of columbia right and another thing that somebody pointed out to me uh, i think i might need glasses not not really but jamestown virginia i can't remember her name the chief test she was like man i think you need some magnifying glasses because those maps of jamestown virginia is 1507 not 1907 you know what i'm saying and like when I when I when we go down this this hole this rabbit hole right into the just a word just a number sorry fifteen oh seven man man you you find so much and stuff man I I don't want to I don't I don't want to do it right now but it's just something I'm thinking about man I probably might do it but this year fifteen oh seven even in numerical number. 
man, I'm telling you, I'll, I'll do it, man. Watch. I don't. I don't know now, man. But, but leave me some. Leave me. Let, let me know if you want me to just go down to 1507, just to see what we could find with that, man. But it's a lot of stuff on 1507 for some reason. Weird. A lot of stuff about us. The, the real Indians on 1507. So I'm not just going down the thing, look for somebody else. It's, it has a lot to do with us. Um, but I don't want to get too sidetracked on this California thing. You know what I'm saying? So so it's, it's, it's really clear right here. It says Old California, Gulf of California, and then you got... New California. Like I said, the Queen Khalifa, she was chilling. This was her island. The the Amazonians, this was her stuff. Right? Because, I mean, let me this sidetrack again. But when we're talking about Wonder Woman, it's the thievery, the identity theft of Queen Khalifa. When we talk about Superman, right? If we stay on the, the cartoon make-believe Europeans, uh, or whatever the case may be, when we talk about... All right, so when we bring up Wonder Woman, right? And Wonder Woman was created in America, the, the cartoon character. She was a uh, queen of the Amazonian um, uh, warriors. And then you have this right here, right? The great seal of the state of California and look at the women in the background with armor right and boats and ships and then you look at Queen Califia estate 1510 sitting on the throne with her sword in her right hand and look at her 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 shoes right look at the, the straps on her shoes right because I'm gonna show you something too so we're just trying to see what, like, we keep finding stuff, right? That keeps pointing to her as a an Indian woman, Indian warrior queen, right? So why was this even made, right? If, if So you have to keep chasing it down. Again, this actually exists. This is a real person, right? Real person right and you go online and you see native wakandan queen khalifa khalifa of ancient america watch wakandan watch and then somebody pointed this out in the movies when they're trying to steal your heritage and try to send you back to africa and Obviously, Wakanda is actually in America. The the quote unquote panther is American, right? Same as the 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 panthers was American to begin with, but they always trying to send you over to Africa. The whole movie making billions of dollars, they're trying to be like, oh, Wakanda was in Africa, right? But everything just keeps pointing to America, ancient America, the true old world. Then we stop off here real quick. And it says, Voyage of Discovery of the South Sea Bering Straits. London, like 15 or 1800, right? But I think it's 1500. And then you read and it says the coast of Cali California now is inhabited by so many tribes that they are frequently in the mission Indians again so the people there knew what they were and they called themselves the, the Indians because I can show you a bunch of maps of cartographers um, listing America as Indians so if they were doing business with the Indians I'm pretty sure for hundreds of years the Indians would have been like hey man I, I really appreciate it but um, could you guys stop making maps and stop calling us Indians, right? Because if 
if Indians wasn't a big deal and if Indian was an actual, right, or Indian was an actual European word, they wouldn't spend hundreds of years today trying to convince you, us, right, not only that you need to go back to Africa, but you need to call yourself African American. They wouldn't spend so many years and money and, and threaten your ancestors and threaten you and us with, with, hey, we don't want you guys to call yourself Indian. We want, we feel more comfortable you guys calling yourself black or Negro or slave, descendant of a slave or African descent or African American. But we don't want y'all calling yourself Indian. And why is that? They can just look at us and be like, oh, we don't like those people right there. But the name, the name got got that got that power, got that essence in it. And which most of us are fighting because we think we think that the Europeans were so stupid, even though they run everything, right? We think they were also so stupid enough to be like, oh, we seen a bunch of Africans. Um uh, let's call them, uh, let's call them Indians. And then our ancestors, you can go to the library of Congress, ask me, I can send you the, uh, a video of them reclassifying Indians as Negro, Indians as black, Indians as mulatto, Indians as colored, Indians as African American, right? We have a card carrying James Brown, telling a bunch of Indians, say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. We got a card carrying uh, Indian, Jesse Jackson. Uh, James Brown's also a card carrying Indian. We got a card carrying Jesse Jackson, Indian, calling, telling other Indians, call themselves African-American from now on, right? <sighs> so we're trying to say that all these Europeans was drunk, stupid, and dumb enough that they make hundreds of maps that you can find in Library of Congress and all over the world and all over the internet calling America India because they're that 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 they're, they're that dumb. You see, you see what I'm saying? Because they 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 just mistakenly come to a some place called a New World now. All right, hold. Let me pull it up. So what we're saying is the the new world they've never seen before, right? And they got to a place they've never seen before, met, met the inhabitants they never seen before, and they the Europeans were the one that came up with the word Indian or Indian, right? Knowing that okay, follow me here. The new world is someplace they've never seen before. They've never even seen the word or, or invented the word Indian before they went to the new world. And you can see right here, the old world encompasses uh, the Hindustan, which is now erroneously called uh, India, East India. So if there's an East India, that means it has to be in West India, not the West part of East India, but West. All right. So the old world was already known. The old world was already known. So they knew about Hindustan. They already knew about it. Right. So why wasn't it called? OK, India. Back in the 1400, 1492, right? But they got somewhere and then they say, no, we're going to call this, this place India. But when they, okay, what they knew about the Hindustan, but they never called it India. You know, we had the only way that word came about is because the British invented East India. That's it. But they had to have gotten that name from somewhere. And we have the maps. You can ask. We'll send it to you. Where there was the America was called India Superior. 
all the way until the 1500s, 1400s, 1600s, 1700s, India, 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 you know? And all of a sudden, all these different explorers, explorers are stupid enough to keep calling the wrong place India for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years for thousands of thousands of thousands of maps. Come on now. All right, so let's let's lock it down real quick. Again, this is Hindustan right next to the Indian Ocean. So, like I said, these Europeans are so stupid that they found quote unquote India, but for some reason they just been calling it Hindustan because they're that dumb, right? So, so people are saying this is the India, even though they knew of the old world, because this is part of the old world. They knew Hindustan existed, but for some reason, we got a clear map that says Hindustan on here next to the Indian Ocean, but they won't call it India for some reason until 1947. Explain that to me. And then we got maps, right? Since the 1400s, 1500s, 1600s, 1700s with India on it. But not, not but Hindustan is still Hindustan. <sighs> I just seen this as I was looking for a couple maps to show you guys for uh, India Superior, right? And here's another map with California as an island from the Library of Congress. So here's just one map. I'm just going to show you guys two maps with India Superior. You know, so we have right here. Not only says India Superior, and they have down here it says India again. Up in like see Florida, that's a good indicator where in uh, the Americas, the Caribbean, the West Indies, right? Because they're in West India, and this says India Superior India. And then we have another map. If you take a look at the left side of your screen, right? It says right here again, India Superior. Another map. Like I said, they, the people knew who they were, right? Because when you look at the walls in uh in uh in in Europe, right? And they say who are the Americans or the standing Indians. You look at the Pipe Museum in Amsterdam, or you go to the it just about everywhere in Europe and all those uh, statues outside the tobacco uh, stores or whatever, they were Indians, right? So why would a bunch of, <laughs> and like I said, they have, they have the, the India on this map, the, the fake one, the Hindustan. So why didn't they put this India superior over there? Well, really? Why didn't they? But let's get back to Queen Califia. All right. So, again, the coast of California is inhabited. This is in 1500 or 1800. It's inhabited by so many tribes. It was at least like 500 million people in the Americas. Like over 500 nations. Right? That there are frequently in mission Indians. Again, Indians. Of more than 10 different races, each of which has its own language as we were leaving the mission we are surprised by two groups of Indians, which were also composed of uh, different nations. They came in a military ar array that is quite naked and painted with gay colors. The heads of the most were adorned with feathers and uh, finery. Some of them, however, their hair disordered, so locks, that's what I'm guessing, covered with down and their faces daubed at the most frightful manner. They are nothing remarkable in their war dance and is, and I regretted that I did not understand the words of their song. The physio physiognomy of these Indians are ugly. Of course, they want to diss us stupid and savage. Otherwise they were well formed, tolerably tall, and of a dark brown complexion. The women are short, very, very ugly. They have, much of the Negro in their continents. All right. So let's go back to. Let's go back to how they stole 
Queen Khalifa's image and they made it into Wonder Woman, right? So we have the whitewash version. So we see it right here on the left and then it's the authentic on the right. We can even come here to the emblem of America, right? And in order for you, what's going around a viral on the internet, look at the, the, the lace of the shoes again. I mentioned that earlier. Look at the lace of the shoes again, right? And I'm gonna show you one more picture with the same woman with the same like lace of her shoes, right? So we come here, the emblem of America, you can see it in person. It's a viral video going around that in order for you to see this in person, you got to go to the British Museum, contact them, I guess, in person or on, on the phone. I don't know. But you got to set, set up an appointment to see the emblem of America in person and stuff. So, but I want to bring you here the emblem of America, London, published 1800s, right? And then you have all the way down here where it says, in this case, the animal skin is implied that the figure is African or somehow associated with the headdress suggests one of the black California tribes. And the skin could be a uh, ocelot kind of California bobcat or Canada mix links. Sorry. So she this could be Queen Califia as well. And so but let me show you another picture on the walls in Germany that uh, you can go see today. With the same with the same shoes right here, and then you can see that uh, she's undeniably an Indian woman with copper tone brown skin. You know she won't be mistaken for uh, our dark skinned Mongolian, how they like to lie and say, or whatever the racists be talking about. Oh, Mexicans look like that today. Like, yeah, yeah, whatever. But let's check this out real quick. This is in Europe chilling American this is from a book Injun babies look how they look check out California Indians look how they all look all right look at their uh, skin complexion facial features look at their hair all right so normally you got people try to be like oh but who's this one right here all right. That's when you say, look at his hands. What color are his hands and feet? All right. So they are always trying to be like, well, see, they had a white one. Nah. See, look, they knew the trolls was going to be here in 2023. So they knew we had to shut them down. But let me show you that one pic on the walls um, in, in uh, Europe. I keep finding more stuff, sorry. But look, another Mayan mural, and look look how they look like. With the locks, skin complexion, facial features, everything. Look at the long locks on both of them. All right? So th these are these are you. Like they're not the the Spaniard Mexican or the Asian Mongolian, right? They're not them. This is this is us, like right here, locks, right? The the uh, the what did the person say about the hair, the the messed up hair or something like that? Real quick, more of the Indian babies right here. See that Indian, and look how they have a European right here, right? You see that? So they can't lie and say that it was everybody was dark back then. So they already had Europeans. So those Mongolians that look like uh, the 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 Asian with the they look like that back then too. They came over in, in ships and stuff. They wasn't just there. We were there, right? Look at a uh, Indian depicted in in I think this is Germany or um, uh, Dutch, but I think it's uh, Germany. Look how you look. Look how they were playing with the alligators and crocodiles or whichever one. Look. Look. Look at the same 
um, engine babies, right? Look how they look from the same book, engine babies, right? Look how they look, look at their hair, right? As well. Indian chief, white horse, eagle in Paris, 1928. Look how you look. Look at the business card you can find in a British museum, right? Virginia at the black boy, right? White horse, London, right? So if this isn't you, who the heck is it? So are we saying, are these racists saying, right? Because that's what they are. If they come in here trolling, that's what they are. Because the receipts we're showing them, like I said, they won't, they specifically come at people, right? That they don't like because they're freaking racist. That's basically it. Because they, I'm, because we're saying go to these museums in, 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 in Europe and stuff like that. And I want you, the racist, to be like, oh no, that's not the, the copper tone brown skinned people in America. That's a dark skinned Mongolian or that's a dark skinned Spaniard Mexican or some crap like that. Or that's a that's an African that traveled there a million a million years ago or 10,000 years ago, right? But in the museum, it's listed as a damn American. Only, okay? Only. All right? Just like the emblem of America, listed as American only because it's its own continent. Remember, that's the new world. So if that's the new world, the Americas, they already knew about the old world. And they sure as hell they didn't call the old world no damn India, right? It was Hindustan all the way up until 1947. And it was just the British uh, company that invented East India. Because if there's an East India, there has to be a West India. And the West India came first. Or else they'll just call East India, East India from the jump, right? So, again... Just was just locking it down. And then and then look at your ancestors on the horse in their Indian regalia. Full head to toe on a horse. Even got feathers in the tail. Look. 1907. Vintage Native American. And look how they look. A new correct map of America with the West India Islands. London. And they go California again. As an as that little island. California Gulf. India. All right, so finally made it. Sorry. So this is on the walls in Europe right now. You can go see it. If you want the video with the address and stuff, just let me know. If you made it this far into the uh, video, thank you for watching. Uh, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, but again, Look how she looked like. Look at her shoes again. Look at the. They are very deliberate in depicting who the real uh, Americans were, who the real Indians were, right? And this was this is this is a this was a period of design was started and finished in 1700s. Okay, so if our ancestors looked like this in the 1700s. And all this time, there was the Yamasi Indian Wars. There was all this Barbary uh, Wars. There was all this conflict. And then, on top of that, it was calling the <laughs> America India Superior. And then you can look everywhere. The depictions from all these racist explorers as well, right? Because they're not just conquerors, explorers. They came there to destroy and pillage, right? So... Look how they look right here. And this is what all they had the jewelry, they had the prestige, right? 
uh, the, what's it called? The parasol or uh, the, the umbrella looking thing, right? The indigenous birds. Jewelry, pearls, gold. Jewelry in her strap that's holding her quiver of bows. Her pearl necklace, pearl earring. And look how she look. Let me, let me see if I can zoom in. If, you, if So hold on. Okay. So please tell me. Who else does she look like? You sound like, cause what, what, I, what I'm gonna show you next, right? Cause people are gonna be like, well, oh well, uh, according to Doctor Such and Such, they were traveling and trading with the Africans, so they came from Africa, right? Well, for some reason, they're calling these people Americans. They call on these people. Indians, but for some reason, they don't know that. Only people today know that the 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 artists and the people doing the depictions and all that stuff ain't say nothing about no damn African until like recently, right in the 1900s or whatever the case may be. Either way. They depict the Africans and the Americans differently. Why don't they just call it New Africa? Because it's a new world, right? They're going to be like, oh, well, we found a bunch of Africans over here because they knew about Africa because I was part of the old world, just like Hindustan. They were part of the whole old world. So why didn't they call that place, oh, New, new Hindustan or New Africa, right? But we got here some Indians. And they're the spitting image of everyone's aunts, cousins, moms, grandmother, sister, girlfriend, right? Looking at them, looking at her right now. And this is what they look like. And they depicted the damn Indians and the uh, Americans like this all day, every day in the 1700s. When there's supposedly all this slave trading going around. But for some reason, they they be looking like this, right? Another proof that no one came from no damn Africa off of no damn slave boat. Because nobody can look themselves in the mirror and be like, yeah, yeah. My, my African grandfather or grandmother, my great, 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 whatever, her name was such and such. Or the vessel number was such and such. The port number was such and such. Just uh, like what... You guys say a, a, a lot, um, um, indigenous goddess, uh, your word is your bond and uh, Freeman uh, Geiger, right? Always say, what about uh, asking whiskey? All you guys always say, what about the damn physical therapy, right? And I'm not done. What about the damn physical therapy coming off? Look. Nobody can survive that kind of crap, right? Y'all, we can't even uh, uh, miss a meal. We don't feel right. You get, um, what's it called? No sleep for one day over the weekend because you get to sleep in on the weekend and you got to go to work on a Monday. You can't operate with no coffee or, or you know, a pick me up or whatever the case may be, whatever your what we, what we uh, ingest to help us get through the day, right? And you're telling me that they, people can, can survive this all the same while we're finding depictions of actual Indians that look like this, having their own businesses, their tobacco businesses, their cotton businesses, right? Their fruits businesses, everything. So explain that, right? Where does this come from that you're looking at, right? Let me show you something else. So I'm gonna bring you here. Gonna know if, if you're if you're new and you haven't seen this, this is real, right? You can go see it in person. If you want the video, I'll send it to you. I have the address and all that stuff. Take a tour. Um, go check it out, right? So in the 1700s, again, in India Superior, right? Showed you the map that says India Superior. This is what the uh, Indians look like 
the Americans look like. And you can see this today. And they are depicting them as such. Just so you saw earlier with the woman with the pearls, really dressed really nice. All right, got the pearls, relaxing, nice shoes, everything. So now we come here. And this is also was in the 1700s. This is how they looked in the damn 1700s. And they're not even telling us about this in school. We're learning this stuff as an as adults, right? So when you say like look, this is what you the four uh um Indians right here. I'm going to get my pointer. Obviously not the European dudes, but we know the theme, right? So these four they do not look like uh, those Asian Mongolians, number one. They don't look like the, 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 the Spaniard Mexicans who like to claim our murals in Mexico as their uh, ancestors, right? These four people did not come from Africa. And I can prove it. So here are the Africans. You see that? How they look completely different than the Americans. And they depicted them at the same time. They didn't depict the, the Africans in the 1200s. And then after the slave trade or whatever the case may be. Right? Then the, then the Africans uh, inter admixture or mixed with the with the mongolians and the europeans and then they look like this right this was, was depicted at the same damn time so everybody knew who the africans were and who the americans were and you can see it says america and then you see africa and they don't look alike because it would have been super easy for the, the artist to be like, yeah, I'm going to just copy and paste, right? No. And like I said, America, excuse me, was called India Superior. So when the um, explorers, the pieces of craps got there, they met civilized people just chilling, right? Because the, the Moors helped them find the, the Africans, Right? So they didn't bring him there to be like, oh, here, here's a bunch of savages or whatever the case may be. This is how they depicted the damn Americans, the damn Indians in the 1700s. When supposedly that during the, uh, the slave trade was going on and they brought a bunch of Africans to just pick cotton. But for some reason, a bunch of Indians in America invented a whole bunch of crap, the stoplight, uh, the filament tape for, for actual lights, you know what I'm saying? GPS system, the cartridge, you know, the internet, you know, some reason of they, a bunch of descendants of slaves just self-taught themselves all these worldly experiments and, uh, inventions, you know, but when you go to other parts of the world and then you see how Americans were portrayed as wearing fine clothing, you know, and very prestige all day, every day. So we don't know what the heck people are talking about. And going back to what uh, uh, indigenous goddess uh, said, um, your word is your bond, uh, Alaska, um, whisk, Alaskan whiskey, uh, Freeman, Geiger, all you guys are always say uh aboriginal sunflower you know what i'm saying right what i'm gonna tell you something man ptsd ain't no joke right and the reason i'm bringing that up because if you're telling us and you're telling yourself when you look in the mirror that your ancestor went through one of the most heinous stuff of being in the bottom of a boat you got the uh, what's it called? Hypothermia, uh, uh, dysentery, um, uh, all of the below. Being force fed, being assaulted, can't sleep, 
no no clothes to cover yourself, no blanket, right? Because they just do the diagram with no blanket. So the hypothermia, right? So the PTSD from that, the, the mental uh, disability, right? Just from that, just even thinking about it, right? Thinking, let's say thinking you do, you because we know that's the lie that they tell us. So just even thinking about that would be like, yo, how, there's no way anybody will come out of that. Like I said, the muscle atrophy alone, you just lose a lot of weight. And just the, the PTSD, the mental anguish from that alone, you're done. You're done. You, there's no, you ain't coming back from that. Right? And especially when they they roll you off the, the, the thing, the, the boat, supposedly, no physical therapy, no no therapy whatsoever, no mental therapy, no psychologist, no psychiatrist, no psychologist, psychologist, right? Nothing. All they do is just all they said is we brought you guys on boats, your ancestors, and then we sold y'all and then boom. You know, we, we, we boom, made the economy, all that stuff from cotton, from tobacco, from whatever, right? From corn, all that good stuff, because we got the corn rolls, right? And then for some reason, the America is still in debt ever since the 1700s. Uh, it's just, it's just so many loose ends that it just does not make any sense for, and like I said, I can send you the video. And it was it's it's like eight volumes of this, but I was just I just stopped at like volume four because it was just so much, you know, just kind of kind of repeating. But it was just good to see, like yo, these, these people wearing crowns, jewelry, or pearl earrings, hoop earrings, jewelry just dipped everywhere, just dripping. Everybody that looked like this dressed like this too. So that's why we're trying to be like okay. We need not only we need to know, but our, our children and everybody needs to know everybody. I don't care because if we got to sit there and, and listen to some crap, I don't know anything that nobody really knows, cares about. I'm trying to think. I don't know. I don't know. I can't think of nothing. But stuff like this, if you don't know and people, you know, don't know share it with them because they need to see this stuff man i'm telling you and this is why they hide it so you can't see yourself as something good which is unfortunate especially for our children if we're already adults and we already stuck in our ways fine but the younger folks to me should be seeing more of this right but i'm gonna leave it right there if you guys stay this far thank you so much we really appreciate it <sighs> please like share and subscribe turn on your post notification if you haven't done so already um please take care of yourself please take care of each other we'll see you guys on the next one peace out